Hi, my name is Derek Robinson and I'm here at Fit Metabolism. I'm going to be talking about a mobility prep exercise called a double leg adductor hip rock today. So basically the purpose of this exercise is, I typically use it as a warm up a lot, but it's really good in general just to open up the hips, warm up, cool down. You're feeling, you've been sitting in your desk all day and you're feeling tight and the hips are growing. Definitely a good way to go. Okay, so in order to start this exercise, my preference would be to start from a deep squat position. If you're not familiar with this, you can definitely start on all fours and you can just kind of figure out your knee width through trial and error. But the reason I like to start in the deep squat is because it dictates how wide my knees are gonna be when, I, when I'm in the, in the position of the exercise. So I'm gonna start in the deep squat and I'm just gonna slowly lean forward until my knees hit the mat. And that is the position I'm gonna be doing the double leg adductor. So again, I'm in all fours. Notice how my back is flat. That means that I don't want an overextension or a round back. That's what those look like, okay? So flat back, meaning that between my tailbone and my shoulder blades, I have a completely flat back, no rounding or overextending, okay? Now the best way to hold my back in that position would be through core activation. The easiest way for me to explain this would be Tighten up your tummy. So squeeze, squeeze your belly and hold it. That's probably the best way to hold your back in this position while you're doing this, uh, this exercise. Also, push your toes into the ground as well as your knee. That's important to get activation out of it as well in your groin. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to go back, keeping my back flat for one, two, and back out. Okay, do it again. Core tight. One, two, and back out. All right. So some really common problems with this exercise would be rounding up the back and forgetting to drive your quads into the ground, or sorry, your knees into the ground. So what the rounded back is going to look like, like that once again. So if I was doing the exercise, see how my tailbone just kind of drops and my back rounds out. This is you're not going to feel any activation if you if you're allowing your back to do that. That's an exaggerated one right there, but it might look more like that. Even so, my, my groin is not getting any, anything out of that movement. So once again, make sure the core is tight and that your back is flat when you're performing this. Another one is when, your knees, when you're not driving your knees into the mat, it also allows your, your groin to kind of get away without a stretch. So make sure you're doing that as well, okay? All right, so that's the double leg adductor hip rock, guys. Again, really good thing to do just if you're feeling tight in the groin or you want to do a good warm up before you do your squat day or something like that. Alright, so I hope you learned something out of this guys, we'll see you next time.